بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وی آر ڈسکسنگ ایم آر آئی آف دی برین آف یگ پیشنٹ ہو از ایٹین ایئرز اولڈ اینڈ سفر فرام سویئر ہائپو گلائسیمیا اینڈ ہیڈ ایک ناؤ لیٹ سی وٹ ہیپن ٹو ہر برین آفٹر دس ایپیسوڈ ہی وی ہیو axial attenuated sequence we can see pons basal artery prepontine cystern seventh eighth nerve complexes fourth ventricle and cerebellar cerebellum and this is uh, middle cerebellar peduncles on either side and here we can see midbrain lateral and third ventricles this is uh, thalamus and head of the chordate nucleus we can see abnormal signals are noted in basal ganglia on either sides that is uh, globus pallidus and putamen globus pallidus and putamen and uh, both are almost symmetrical so these are two symmetrical abnormal areas involving basal ganglia on either side in supra tentorial compartment we need to confirm it on flare sequence here we can see this is flare sequence we have uh, inflammatory changes in left maxillary sinus and uh, cranially we can see abnormal increased signals in symmetrical fashion involving basal ganglia on either side but ventricular chain and remaining peripheral gray and white matter appears undemarkable let's see coronal t2 weighted sequence here we can see both eyeballs inflammatory changes in the left maxillary sinus mild dns and uh, here we see frontal horns of the lateral ventricle part of the third ventricle and abnormal signals in both sides which are almost symmetrical once again so here we have uh, in differential of uh, toxic ischemic or metabolic etiologies which can generate similar pathologies involving basal ganglia remaining brain parenchyma shows uh, normal morphology as there is no evidence of uh, hemorrhage or mass lesion no middle end shift seen no evidence of high trochephalus mild intimate changes are noted in few of the mastoid ear cells on right side so to summarize there are multiple causes for hyper intense signals in basal ganglia we can say hypoxic ischemic insult and venous infarct in the category of ischemic insult while in neurodegenerative category we can place autoimmune encephalitis and kurtzfeld jacob disease Similarly, under metabolic etiology, we can say extrapontine myelinolysis, Huntington disease, and mitochondrial disease processes like Lee's disease, Wilson's disease, hepatic encephalopathy, uremic encephalopathy, and hypoglycemic disease. and kefalopathy toxins like carbon monoxide neurotoxicity cyanide neurotoxicity and methanol neurotoxicity can present similar picture while under infectious category we can say japanese encephalitis and uh, flavi virus encephalitis and rabies encephalitis can present similar picture thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi